Now, um, I'm often asked, I, I think uh, yeah, often people also ask me, hey, Andrew, what are the biggest trends in machine learning? Where is the value creation? You know, I think that today, if I look across industry, the vast majority of economic value is created through supervised learning. Um, and then what are the other things? I would say, this is my personal opinion, and I visit companies and see quite a lot of companies' AI efforts. Um, I think that transfer learning, you know, people often ask me, what's after supervised learning? I think transfer learning is creating quite a lot of value today. For some reason, it's not as sexy, so people don't talk about it as much. This idea that you might learn from, uh, you know, object recognition and learn from a huge data set like ImageNet and transfer some of that knowledge to read X-ray radiology images. So this is actually creating economic value today. Like, this is useful. Um, I think unsupervised learning is uh, a fantastic long-term research project. I'm super excited about this. This is creating a little bit of economic value, uh, especially in word embeddings for natural language processing, but I, I would say that my personal opinion, much less. And then reinforcement learning is an interesting one. Um, I worked on reinforcement learning for many years, still do a little bit of work on it. I think that the, uh, the excitement and the PR hype on reinforcement learning is a bit disproportionate relative to the actual economic values creating today. It turns out reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning whose hunger for data is even greater than supervised learning. Just, this is really difficult to get enough data for reinforcement learning algorithms. So it turns out they're great for playing video games because if you're playing a video game, you can play like an infinite number of video games you know, in a computer by yourself, or great for uh, playing games, basically. Uh, but outside game playing and applications in robotics, often applications in robotics, where you can build a simulator and therefore you know, play an infinite number of video games driving a car or having a humanoid robot walk or whatever. I think there's still more work to be done to translate this to, to, to businesses in practice. So, and I think there is actually a rapid fall off in the economic value being created today uh, going down this list. Having said that, this is today. And one of the things that's a constant in computer science is that breakthroughs all the time. And so the ground under us shifts every, every few years. So there could be breakthroughs in any of these which could rapidly reorder this list in a few years.